another a area of solar energy research that we're working on is um, is a little further further reaching, and that's um, we're trying to learn from from plants, um, and particularly the the way plant cells self repair themselves um, and make man made analogs to light. Har harvesting that, that mimics this built-in mechanism of, of self-repair. So uh, plant biologists know, and perhaps high school students know, that uh, plants will actually um, break down and reassemble the, the photosynthetic in, um, molecules that they, that they use to harvest to harvest sunlight. Uh, they're constantly doing this. About, about they're, they're, they're turning over the active proteins involved in this pro pro process about one every 45 five minutes. So when you look outside and you see a leaf, it looks like a very static object. Inside, the, the plant is constantly repairing, constantly dealing with the, the photo damage that's happening. Um, and this is how nature has gotten solar energy to work. This is how over, uh, um, over uh, um, a very long period of time the, the plants ha have, have, have evolved. And this, this is how na nature is able to use organic materials, which are normally fra fragile. Um, sunlight and oxygen make, a, make a, very, a very destructive form of oxygen called singlet oxygen. And uh, if you're going to use uh, organic materials and expose them to, uh, to, sun to sunlight in the, in the presence of oxygen, uh, you have no other choice except to, except to, to, uh, to implement a, a self-repair cycle. This is so, um, if you're a plant. And so this is what nature has, has come up with. And uh, we're trying to take those same schemes and um, design man-made photoelectrochemical cells that, that can do the same thing. And we, we, we actually de designed and, and published our first uh, a, few, a few years ago. It's a, it's, a, it's a photoelectrochemical cell that's capable of dynamic assembly and disassembly it's, and dynamic repair. And we showed that by, by using that repair cycle over a week's time, you could increase the energy harvested from the from, from the device more than 300 per, percent, and extend the lifetime from 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 about 10, 10 hours to almost in, indefinitely. So it was a two very important engineering demonstrations that uh, that point to the to the growth of this field. That cell is not ready for coating anyone's roof, rooftop yet. Um, it was the. But, but the concept has, has led us to, um, to make other, di other discoveries. Uh, we actually think, and what we're working on at MIT, in my laboratory, uh, we are uh, starting to merge or organic plant, um, plant materials, plant oral organelles, we're starting to merge them with, uh, with these, with these, um, these uh, tools of nanoparticles in such a way that we're going to make fundamentally new new kinds of light light harvesting devices. It's a it's a field that that, that I'm starting. It's, it's called uh, plant nanobionics, and um, I've actually hired as a, a postdoc in my laboratory a uh, a um, a plant biologist from 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 Harvard, who's and we're interested together into in defining this field. Nanomaterials can can provide very interesting functionality to um, to what are generally considered very, very delicate or, or fragile com components that, that we get from, from plants. Um, but these components otherwise are, have very high quantum e efficiencies. They're, 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 uh, they're very finely tuned. They're ideal for harvesting light um, and converting it into solar e energy. They have, they have many advantages. They're, they're not completely optimal, but they have many advantages. And some of the things that, that uh, uh, nanomaterials can can bring. They can shut down some of the degradation pro processes by 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 scavenging radicals. They can change the way um, they they can change the absorption spectrum that uh, such materials see, and they have the ability to. They can also, for example, in the case of gra graphene, they, they can uh, shut down which types of molecules pass through pass through the organelle. So. Uh, the long-term vision is to have fundamentally new kinds of photovoltaic technologies, um, ones that really look nothing like the, the uh, technologies we have today and built from, from very different materials.